Welcome everyone back to Tenorshare. Today, we're addressing a nagging issue that's all too familiar. Ever found your iPad stubbornly displaying that Apple logo for an eternity? Fear not, we have you covered. In this video, we're serving up three quick and easy solutions to get your iPad back to its pristine home screen. Let's dive right in. This pesky problem can strike during data recovery or system upgrades. Follow a risky iPhone jailbreak when your storage is maxed out or due to hardware woes like weary batteries or cracked screens. Knowing the culprits, let's tackle the solutions. Solution 1. Force restart your iPad. First step is a force restart. Press the volume up button, then press the volume down button and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. This is a simple yet powerful trick. However, it may not solve all update-related issues. So if it fails, please continue to watch the next solution. Solution 2. Update iPad using iTunes. After installing iTunes on your computer, connect your iPad and put it in recovery mode. Press a little longer. After successfully putting it in recovery mode, iTunes will offer update or restore options. We choose to restore. After reading the precautions, iTunes will handle the rest. If there is a problem, a pop-up window may fail to reset. If such a situation occurs, please be sure to consider our last resort. Solution 3. Repair iPad with Reboot. Reboot is an all-in-one tool for repairing iOS EI iPad OSS, and tvOS CC system issues without the need for a forced restart or data loss. It can fix that stuck Apple logo or boot loop and safely return you to your home screen. Find the link below if you want to give it a shot. Connect your iPad to your computer with Reboot in recovery mode. Reboot can perform one-click reset or deep repair to fix deep-seated problems. If there is a problem with the phone, you can choose to use Deep Repair. Click Start. Follow the on-screen instruction sheet, press the Volume Up button, then press the Volume Down button and hold the Side button. After confirming the file download path, click to download. Reboot will automatically match the latest iOS firmware allowing you to initiate the repair process. Please wait patiently. When it is done, select the standard repair option. Note that the standard repair mode can preserve your data. Once the process is complete, your iPad will be updated to the latest iOS version. You have successfully resolved the issue. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned. Thank you for watching, and we wish you a fantastic day. See you in the next video.